you just get flat. understand what you think that you are doing you know taking away a very vital part of our lives from us their home <laughs> yeah, ben, I don't feel like. to go and look for their home i'm glad that you're here since you're here just stick around with me and watch to the end i would really be glad if you do that in this video i'm going to be sharing how my parents um disappointed me now parenting is not something that is you know really easy and sometimes as a parent you might not really just pay attention to certain parts of parenting you might feel it's not so necessary you know sometimes maybe the environment where you're raising your kids might not just that's exactly the case with me right the environment where i was raised was a contributing factor to what we're going to be discussing in this video and yeah i would like to know what you think don't just watch okay watch and tell me what you think tell me your experiences as well it's basically um this part where uh, my parents didn't think it wise whilst we were growing up for them to teach us our mother tongue i have a lot to say it's not just about my parents um they didn't get to teach us our mother tongue we do not speak or understand our language now my parents are not from the same place they're not from the same state not same ethnicity however my mom understands my dad's language so well my mom understands about maybe six i would say nigerian languages she understands she speaks fluently she's very good at that and even my dad my dad is good my dad is good my dad understands how sir at least and his language as well but we were raised in a place where i don't know i don't want to go into details but where we were raised it was in that time for your kids to speak well i mean english right to speak english well and you know we just had i mean i don't want to get into that and i i, I got to a point where i felt so terrible about it and i spoke to my parents about it and they're just like yeah like we know that we have failed and well we made a conscious decision that i go school in my place okay just so that i can pick the language that was the major reason why my parents and i decided that i go to school in my place which has really really helped me a lot and i'm filming this video just to explain certain things to you if you're that kind of parent or you're that kind of person that do not think it's necessary you might know how to speak your language but you might just feel mm, it's not really necessary I beg. and you know knowing that we live in a country where i mean in nigeria where i come from for some reason we are imitators we just want to always act like we're from the west it's so irritating growing up i wouldn't want to ever be seen in african prints we wanted to wear denim we wanted to, you know don't just give me an african prince to wear and it's so bad that we even um mock people that have got like african accent in nigeria we mock them we laugh at them no not understanding that it's their language and english is not really our language you know the one that annoys me the most is when i get to the airport and they're trying to make announcements in nigeria and you hear them trying to sound like Americans. You don't even hear what they're saying because a lot of them have never stepped foot in America or in the UK. But I don't know where the accent is from. You're just hearing. You just hear flight. Boarding. You only pick one more word like flight, boarding. <laughs> <laughs> and you're on board and they serve you like you see we're africans we don't eat like white people i don't know why you're giving me one tiny cup of water to drink i don't know why you're giving me one tiny juice we eat well we eat i don't know we eat in large portions we're not white people but we always behave like white people we always want to be white people we even go as far as giving our kids um english names like my name is mabel 
you guys i didn't even introduce myself you're welcome to my channel my name is maybe <laughs> Um, Mabel, as you might like to call me, as they call me here now, my new name, Mabel. Um, you're welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. And if you are not tuning in for the first time, thank you for coming back. I hope you enjoy watching. At this point, please give this video a huge thumbs up if you haven't done that already. <laughs> so it's not, it's not a bad thing to speak English well, but we fail. My parents are not failing this part where we my parents made sure that we go to the village every single time right from when i was a child like we would always see we lived in northern nigeria and we'll go all the way to eastern nigeria it was a long drive we used to go by a road but we would go all the way to the village and we became very familiar with our place my dad would literally see the way my dad raised us him my place is the best place in the world. Do you understand? Like, he will literally teach you everything you need to know about where you are from. My parents did so well in that area. We know every single thing about our place. We know every single corner of my place. We know every single uncle and their homes. I mean, we know every single thing. We know all the occasions. We'll go for all the occasions, all the festivals that happens in my place. And yeah, we have people that are born and raised in Nigeria, but they do not have any idea where they are from. There's this story that my mom told me some time ago about one woman that her husband died. And when her husband died, that was the first time her first son went to her husband's village to go and look for their home. Hey, I beg, I don't feel like to go and look for their home. And then the day they went, because my aunt followed them for that burial. They got to the village of the man. The wife got down from the car with other visitors and she did not know where to enter. She did not know where to go. She was carrying her bag. She didn't even know where to go to. Then the son now said, ah, yeah, is this way? Mommy, is this way? I don't understand what you think that you are doing, you know, taking away a very vital part of our lives from us. All in the name of you trying to be Western. I intentionally didn't give any of my children English names because of this, okay? I do not see white people giving their kids <laughs> Yoruba names just because they want to belong. And if you live in the UK, you're going to be so thrilled when you see all these Asians. Oh my God, like they speak English so well, but they do not joke with their languages. They don't play with it. You see, they speak to their kids even when their child is two years old, which I am trying to adopt, even though it's not easy because my husband and I, we speak English, right? So we are trying really hard even my baby, my baby is just two months plus. It's going to be three months soon. We speak Igbo to him. We try to speak the language from this age because it's very important that they know where they are from and that they appreciate the culture and that they understand these things, understand the language, understand, you know, your culture. It's going to be like a core part of my children's life, understanding their culture and as much as possible visit the village as much as they can and sleep in the family house because some people they will visit the village they will not sleep they will go and sleep in a hotel or something i don't know where you are from some people say oh in their village they have bad people that will kill them mm. me i don't have that kind of village my husband doesn't have that kind of village we're not we see we are you know we are people who are the main people of <laughs> our community <laughs> but for real for real as trivial and as unimportant as this sounds it's the most important thing that i need i need you to put into consideration whilst raising your kids see speaking your 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 local your mother tongue with your kids even helps with bonding it helps with child parent interaction because you're able to communicate on a deeper level and you're able to say things that you don't want people to hear okay you want to say something to your mom you want to say something to your brother and you are in public and you don't want this other person to understand what you're, what you're saying you easily just switch to your mother tongue and it's so beautiful like it gives you this confidence it just makes see it just when i say confidence you know that whole morale of knowing who you are 
knowing where you are from, being proud of where you are from, being proud of your language. Give your children native names. If you ask me, this is my opinion. This is something that I do not joke with. You might be speaking your language, you think it's nothing. It's not nothing. It is very vital and whilst i was growing up or maybe long ago in nigeria languages used to be part of the curriculum in school they would teach hausa Igbo, and yoruba which are the three main languages in nigeria but my school we were never taught um, languages we only were taught french but we're not taught african languages and i don't think they still do it in schools if they still do it in schools let me know schools of nowadays they should include it okay they should teach our children at least the three major languages it's really really important let us not um you know gradually deviate and desert where we are from in as much as a lot of us live in different parts of the world for different reasons we are from a place we belong we come from somewhere and the 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 idea is not to throw that somewhere away if you get what i mean i don't want to keep blabbing and talking but you get the point i just thought to come out here um yeah and i want you guys to know also that my channel now I have decided that I want to do sit down videos where I bring topics like this and so many other types of topics and we talk about it and I want you guys to be very interactive in the comments. Tell me what your experiences are. Do you speak your language? Did you go extra mile to learn your language in old age? Do you have like lesson teachers that come home to teach your children your language because you cannot speak your language or something like that? Let me know in the comment. Let's in the comment section. Let us yarn. Let us talk. Let us discuss about this whole thing and tell me if you get really angry as well um, when when you you when you are flying in Nigeria and they are trying to talk and they are you know you you know God I get so mad. If you see people there, like I said, Asians here, yeah, man, they don't joke with their language. They don't joke with their culture. You see Indians, the way we see them in Indian films, that's how they are. They're sorry. They still do their Diwali festival. They still do all the things that they do. But we, we go, ah. And the, the part that's annoying is that we do this even in Nigeria. Please don't fail your kids. You owe them that much, okay? Thank you and God bless you for watching. I'm going to see you in the next one. Until then, stay, stay safe. <laughs> I know that I love and appreciate you. Bye, guys.